Hello, my name is Logan and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to download and install Pokemon Infinite Fusion for the PC. I have not tested this yet on like a Steam Deck or on an Android device. I'm not too sure if it would work on an Android device, but it may work on a Steam Deck, but I have not tried it yet. There's two things first though. Number one, please join the Pokemon Infinite Fusion Discord if you can. This is where you can ask for help, see announcements, and talk about the game. They also have all the links and everything that I'm going to talk about here. Um, but I will also post those links in the description below, so you don't have to join the Discord. Second thing, you have to download 7-Zip or WinRAR. Both of them are free. WinRAR is a little bit more annoying. Uh, it will pester you about buying it, but you don't have to. So I recommend getting 7-Zip if you don't like that. Personally, I like WinRAR. The interface is a little easier. Uh, and I've been using it for a very long time. Both of them are free. Both of their links will be in the description below. So first off, we are going to be downloading this. Uh, I'm in the announcement section of the Discord. And there's a link here. And this link is replacing Mediafire. They're going to be testing this out as a sort of like a server where you can download this game. Now, if this is your very first time playing the game, you can read the install instructions here. Um, I don't think it's really necessary uh, just because I'm making this video, so I'll be explaining it. So there's two versions here. We've got Infinite Fusion and then we've got Infinite Fusion Preloaded Sprites. Infinite Fusion and Infinite Fusion Preloaded Sprites are, are the same thing pretty much. There's two big differences. Number one is Infinite Fusion Preloaded Sprites comes with a ton of sprites. Custom and the generated ones. So it comes with thousands upon thousands of images uh, preloaded into this. Um, and the benefit of that is that you don't have to download them as you play, but that's also the benefit of this version here, the Infinite Fusion version. That is considered the dynamic version. And as you play the game, as you encounter Pokemon, you will download the sprites then. Um, personally, I like this version here. The second difference is that this version of the game, the preloaded, comes with the alternate launcher. The alternate launcher helps computers that struggle a bit with this game. It preloads a ton of assets before the game actually loads, and then you're able to play the game better. Now, if you already have a good enough machine, you won't notice any difference. Uh, but for those that are struggling with loading times, you're going to want the Infinite Fusion Preloaded Sprites.zip here. Uh, and I'll go over it a little bit more when we finally get this thing extracted and installed. All right, very straightforward. We're going to actually click this link here. Clicking this download thing is not really working for me. So we're going to click this uh, and then click download here. There we go. And you'll see that it pops up. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I created a new folder and I cut and I paste the zip that we downloaded into that folder. So what we're going to do now is right click the zip file and here in open with, this is where you want to choose your extractor, whether that's 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now, if you don't, if you downloaded 7-Zip or WinRAR and it's not showing up on this list, you want to choose uh, choose another app, and then a window will pop up, and you have to find that software. It'll show a giant list, and you're going to have to find your extractor. So here, I've got WinRAR. We're going to click on that. It's going to take just a second. Um, and this is one of the pesky windows. You just close it and we're good to go. So we're going to hit extract two without clicking anything inside the window. Um, and then we're going to find that folder. So ours is called new installer. So I'm just going to hit okay. Now this takes a while. And this is the reason why we downloaded uh, this third party software, because if windows was doing this, especially with the preloaded version, it will not be able to handle it. There's so many files that windows just chugs on it. Whereas seven zip and WinRAR really handle it like a champ. So I don't know. It does take just a second. You can see it's saying it's going to take about like three minutes. So, you know, it's time to take a break, I guess.
All right, after it's done extracting, we can just close the window. Now we've got some extra files in a folder. So what I'm gonna do is just delete the zip because uh, we don't need it anymore. All right, so once that's out of there, you've got a couple things you can do here. There's really only one thing you can do, um, and that's using this install.bat. This is how you're gonna install the rest of the game. So what you just downloaded is just a smidgen of the game, and now you're going to download the rest by double-clicking this .bat file. So this is downloading from the internet. Um, now, I don't know if the servers are busy or you know, if there's any other variables that can affect the speed, but this may take a while. So again, um, time to go make a sandwich, touch some grass, uh, play your favorite gotcha game. I don't know. Now the game automatically opens which i find kind of rude um this is you know i don't really necessarily want to play the game right now but we can see if it works we'll let it load do its thing all right so we can see it's version 5.3.0.5 um in the discord they they call it 5.3.5 um so either way uh, we're talking about the same thing here all right, so the game is working. Now I'm gonna go over the alternate launcher really quick. We're gonna close those windows. Actually, before we talk about the alternate launcher. So in the future, if the game updates, you only have to double click this .bat file here. Double clicking this should automatically go onto the interwebs and see if you need to update the game, and right here we can see it's saying already up to date, press any key to exit. So we're good. Um, that's all you gotta do to update it now. No funny extracting, no downloading things. Your game will always be up to date by downloading this one file. So now we're gonna go in and check out the alternate launcher. So Infinite Fusion, I'm not too sure what this E18 means. It might be the version. I'm not too sure. But going inside is a familiar site. This is what the game normally look like. Um, but here you can see it has the alternate launcher. For those that are struggling with the game, specifically loading, like between scenes, fights, fusing, checking out the Pokédex, that seems like what makes it lag the most. You're going to want to use the alternate launcher. Now there's a couple tricks because it's very easy to mess this up. When you double click this, it's going to take a long time to load. I mean, it takes a long time. You're going to want it to sit here. And the other thing you want to do is not touch the maximize button here. Um, the full screen window, whatever you call it. You do not want to touch that while this is loading. You will cause it to freeze. Just let it sit. Let it be a tiny little window. Don't do anything with your computer while this is loading. Okay, so that took at least a few minutes. It's considerably longer, so have patience. Um, but after this, your game should be running a little better. Now, there's a couple more tricks um, for those that still are struggling. The alternate launcher did not exactly fix the issue. There are two other things you can do. Um, you can go into the options menu of the game and turn off download sprites and turn on DNA icons. If you do those two things, it may run better. The problem is that if you turn off download sprites, if any new sprites come out, and they usually come out every month, you will not download them. Um, so that's what that means. But with the preloaded version, you should already have all of them pretty much, uh, except one that will be coming out in the future. So you will either have to download those manually and install them if you don't want the download sprites option turned on, or you turn them on, and as you encounter Pokemon, it may download but it will only download the sprites that you encounter. Um, so I recommend when a sprite pack comes out to go to the Discord, download that sprite pack, and then 
install it yourself. And I have several videos going over how to do that. There are several of them. The ultimate Pokemon infinite fusion guide goes over that. Just watch that if you want to install some sprites. So that about wraps it up. Um, I'm probably not going to make any more videos unless it goes over something very specific about the installation process or some new problems with Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Because this new way of installing the game and updating it, it takes little to no effort. Um, and then updating it is just as simple as double clicking it. You know, but th if there are any problems, if you encounter any problems, please leave them in the comments below be as detailed as possible so that way i can help you if i can't help you go to the discord and there is a tech support section not too many people go on there but i do uh float around in there and i will help you out if you have any questions uh, so i highly recommend going there but feel free to leave them in the comments if you found this tutorial uh helpful at all please hit that like button or even consider subscribing and as always, I'll see ya on the next adventure. Bye-bye.